I mean, uh, the, it's just basic dignity to be able to get somebody who's uh, uh, disabled uh, to be able to use the entire facility. It's been serving the neighborhood and enriching lives for nearly 20 years. And after multiple failed votes to help move into a different building, the Ionia Community Library is working on upgrading the place it currently calls home. This week, they announced they received a $20,000 grant to help make improvements. And as Janice Allen explains, those improvements will center on making the library more accessible for those with disabilities and special needs. The money is coming from an initiative through the American Library Association and is focusing on small and rural communities. The director of the Ionia Community Library says it will go to good use in helping to open their doors to everyone. The obvious ones are that the doors need to swing open with buttons, right? That's the low hanging fruit. But there's a lot more to it. And it is renovating the Ionia Community Library on Main Street so it's more accessible. So the things that you're learning as you're going through some of this uh, training with the American Library Association is that after 30, 40 years of thinking about ADA improvements, there are new ways to do what are the basic functions. And functionality at the library is something Director Dale Paris takes personally. I know from a uh, fact that my uh, brother-in-law was in an Amigo scooter for 20 years. I know that he, he could not come and visit my workplace. So we know that we've been uh, turning people away and that's not right. I mean, we're, I, I'm very confident that we're going to be able to change that. And among the things the library hopes to fix, helping doors open properly, making the bathrooms compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act, and upgrading the elevator. We have a very antiquated uh, uh, elevator system. It was well-meaning back in 1989 or so when it was put in, but it was with the thought that a person would be accompanying another person that was disabled and that's not the thinking that we should have uh, we want to make it so that the uh, disabled uh, person with disabilities is able to take care of themselves even making simple things you might not think about like water fountains easier for everyone to use if you have a disabled person who's trying to use one of those old traditional uh, water fountains that frankly because of our water pressure don't work very well <laughs> i mean again um we can um have that system in place so that that will be of a big help. Thanks to a $20,000 grant through Libraries Transforming Communities, Accessible Small and Rural Communities, Ionia plans to start on some of that work beginning with the doors. But right now our, our basic, um, our basic um, uh, trying to get even people into the doors is, is so lacking. That'll be our main focus. The money is among one of many grants the library has been efforting after several failed elections to help fund renovations at the former Mercantile Bank in downtown Ionia, which was donated to become the new library. The two votes that uh, were really uh, so close that they kind of hurt were the ones that we lost by 36 votes, especially that that was the uh, August one. Fortunately, my team is very resilient. Our library board is very resilient. And after we soothed our, our woes and when we got over it and said you know it's time to do our jobs and let's do it so that's why we're doing all these grants whether they're the small ones for the current building or the multi-million dollar ones for the larger uh, dream down the road and while the dream to move into the other building is still on the table for now the library is hoping to continue to receive various grants to make the current building better for everyone just uh, keep your eyes on the ionia community library we uh, are going to really try hard to leverage that donation that the, the mercantile uh, bank gave us um, and we're going to be able to eventually move into that building and do our job even better that's just what i want to tell Fox 17 and the entire Ionia community. The Ionia Community Library was among 240 selected as part of this grant program. The next step will now be to have meetings with residents, specifically those with special needs, to see what they have to say about what's needed at the current library. For more information on library meetings and events, just look for this story at fox17online.com. In the studio, I'm Janice Allen, Fox 17 News.